If you've been watching my videos, you know that I have consistently proven from the Bible that people who die sleep in the grave. No one is in hell now, and most of us will not go to heaven until the resurrection at the second coming of Jesus Christ. The only people who are in heaven now, besides Jesus, are Enoch, Moses, Elijah, and the saints who were resurrected at the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. For more on that, make sure and check out my Mysteries of Death and Ghosts playlist, along with my videos entitled 10 Facts About Hell You're Not Being Told and 12 Facts About Heaven You Probably Didn't Know. I'll leave a card that you can click on to all that in the upper right hand corner of the screen to make it easier. Regardless, I often get asked what the Apostle Paul meant by his statement in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 8 when he said that he was willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Did Paul believe and teach that as believers we go straight to heaven to be with God when we die? No. Not to mention if he did, he would be contradicting himself. For example, in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8 he said, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Paul told Timothy that he would receive his crown of righteousness at the appearing of the Lord, that is, at the second coming of Jesus Christ. And so would the rest of the believers. The crown of righteousness is also called the crown of life in James chapter 1 verse 12. It says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Therefore, it is at the return of Jesus Christ, when the righteous will be resurrected from the grave, that they will receive their heavenly crown and eternal life, not before. We don't go straight to heaven after we die. The only way someone can come to that conclusion is by a surface reading of the Bible. But when you really dig deep and compare all of the scriptures that deal with death and the afterlife, the Bible is abundantly clear that we sleep in the grave after death and won't go to heaven until the resurrection at the second coming of Jesus. Backing up now, so how can we reconcile all this with Paul's statement of being absent from the body is being present with the Lord? It's a matter of perspective because since death is asleep, you are not aware of the passage of time when you are dead. So if you're a believer, your next conscious thought is going to be when you will be resurrected to meet the Lord in the air at His second coming. When Paul said being absent from the body is being present with the Lord, he didn't mean that we go straight to heaven after death. If he did, he would be contradicting himself and many other scriptures that teach death is asleep and we have to wait for the resurrection at the second coming of Jesus Christ before we get to heaven. Paul's statement was a matter of perspective because since we sleep in the grave and are not aware of the passage of time, after we die, our next conscious thought will be meeting Jesus at his return. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and share it. Subscribe if you're new and click on the notifications icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, please pray that my ministry will continue growing and reaching people for Christ. And if you'd like to support my channel and ministry with a donation, links to my PayPal and Patreon accounts are available in the description box. Your donations really help. And check out some more of my videos by clicking on the screen. I have a lot of good Christian videos which I'm sure you'll enjoy if you liked this one. God bless you.